right, sausage wrap. Obviously not good for vegetarians. What, what alternative could we do for a vegetarian? Spring rolls. <laughs> we can still do a roll, but using pastry. But what can we put in it instead of meat? Vegetables. Vegetables. Feather and spinach would be a very good one. You had one at the weekend. Is it nice? The feta and spinach. I like feather and spinach actually. It's pretty cool. Alright, so if we can just watch this uh, as a demonstration. Hey Miss, can you just read out what we're doing with the bread? Pardon? Cut the crusts. Cut the crusts off the bread. So I've got a bowl which I'm going to put the breadcrumbs into. I've got a bowl for the rubbish. Pardon? The bread. We'll get round to why in a second. All right? Two slices of white bread. Okay. So we're going to use, uh, what could we use the crusts for? If we were in a restaurant, what could we use the crusts for? You can use them as breadcrumbs, yes. We're going to use this bread as breadcrumbs anyway, but rather than throw it away, you could use it for, or even croutons. You know what croutons are? Yep, cool. So what am I doing with the bread? Do I, do you put the crust in? Yeah, cut the crust from bread and then just make it to the bowl. What am I doing with this? Maybe, it doesn't say which one. Eat it. Eat it, there's a good one. Okay, so cut crust from bread, put in a small mixing bowl. We pour over enough water to cover. So that's the crusts, right? <clears throat> Finely chop onion. Now we've done heaps and heaps of onion chopping, haven't we? So we use that as a bin. Pardon? Seems to be that way, doesn't it? And we still struggle with it, don't we? Skin straight into the bin. Okay, what do, I have, what do I need to cut next? The root or the other end? The root or the other end? Well done. And then peel over the bin. Why have I left the root in there, Hamish? To make it stable. To make it stable, yes. To hold the onion when we start to dice it. Okay, so peel over the bin. Any excess skin on the board, get rid of it. Use your tea towel that's here to clean your hands if necessary. Sometimes onions aren't very easy to peel, are they? But you must persevere. Who wants to come and chop this onion for me to show me that they've been listening and watching and observing? No one? Alright, so we're going to go back to the root, but not all the way, of course. Up the face, and on the top, and then down. Three cuts. Cats. So I'll put your huge utensils as all these different bowls. What's after the onions? What, in with the onions? Yes. Good. 
Sausage meats, eh? Very similar to dog meat. Yeah. Dog meat. Well, it looks like dog meat, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? I mean, come on, that doesn't look very nice, does it? No. But that's what we've got. What would we rather use, do you think? Beef mince, pork mince, chicken mince, whatever. Rather than this. Somebody tells me it's fit for human consumption. It says sausage mince, not dog meat, but I would be very confused if it didn't say sausage mince. Does anybody else agree? That is the reaction I expected. So, from that reaction, I assume nobody wants a sausage roll. Oh, yeah. Because I do, once it's cooked. Oh. Cool. All right, what's next? We've got to chuck them in. Love it. How much? Just a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon. There we go. And then there's a tablespoon of tomato sauce. Spoon of tomato sauce. And then just salt, it just says salt and pepper. And then salt and pepper, which we don't have. Mm. What about the egg? What's the egg going to do? Windy, windy. Now, could somebody actually do me a favour? I'm going to get uh, uh, Ellie, you're closer. Can you get me that red machine from down there, please? I'm going to do something a bit different today. You probably won't get the chance to do this, but it'll just help buying things together if I use a machine. I don't want to do that anyway. All right, particularly. Has anybody used that before? This thing. Has anybody used that before? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just find that horrible. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I'm going to just use this machine to mix everything together. This, this is just a kitchen head, which is a food processor, mixer. It whisks things. It's good for cakes and batters, pastry. Um, see, when you use your hands, you don't. You just kind of. You don't really, this will process the meat, so it will really bind it together well. When you use your hands, it doesn't do the same job. If you're using egg, for example, if you just use your hands, it's going to take you forever, or a long time, to get that egg in doing its job of binding. The machine will do it pretty quickly, and cleaner too. Alright, so... So we'll just whack everything in there. Do we put the egg into there? We, does it say that? Or? Pardon? What are we doing with the egg? The eggs for glazing. But we're going to bind it, use it to bind as well. I'm using a little bit of this to bind, not all of it. And then, give it a process. Beautiful. We used this the other day to fix a cookie dough as well, didn't we, Amy? So that's the safety mechanism. If you don't have that up like that, it won't work. So to demonstrate that. And then it just goes, the onion could be smaller.
doesn't, doesn't look any prettier. Are you sure this is appropriate for us? I like it, mate. Uh, yes. Yes. Put a bit of pepper in just to help with the flavour. I won't put much salt in there because there's probably already some in there. Can I sell these to anyone by the time I've made them? Who would like one? Not bothered, eh? Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so that bit's done. Now these videos are unedited, so... So what we have to do now is key thing here girls key thing here so you didn't eat the other key thing here guys really I haven't done anything with those breadcrumbs cuz what what did I, what needs to happen with that Yeah. And then you have to add it to the mixture. Yeah. What do they do in that mixture? Make it look better. Mm -hmm. And they sort of keep it moist. Um, so the bread soaks up the bread soaks up the water. Okay, and then you um, basically crumb it after that and stick it in the mix to keep it moist. Alright. Um, so, yeah. so that's soaked up the water. Um, So the breadcrumbs. So let's put it in there. And that will take better, isn't it? <laughs> because we've added more ingredients, more salt. Now in the practical guys, listen up, in the practical we might just leave this machine at the front and you can all share it because really to get those breadcrumbs fully mixed in or mixed in well, you're probably going to need the machine. Right? So those breadcrumbs are in there to keep the mixture moist, okay, so they don't, so it doesn't dry out. We could have probably crumbed them a little bit more, but let's not worry too much about that. Are you going to help us out? Are you going to help us out with the machine? I don't know. Help you out? Yeah, we'll have it at the front. Alright, so let's have a look at what the key thing is here. What we need to do is make sure that when we roll these, you've got a plastic piece underneath. That actually helps us roll, okay? So, we put our sausage meat in. 
You probably get two out of one thing. Yeah, but whilst you got the plastic on. Alright, so. You could use proper minced beef and all that, which is a good thing. No, you'll have this. All right, so please note that means watching. All right, so you, you get to this point, and this is where we shape it. Take the brush. Give it a brush there, that's going to help stick it. But we pull over the plastic bit, keeping its shape, okay? So now we've stuck that together. The plastic bit has not been folded, we can take that off, that's just there to help you roll sausage roll. Okay, now that it's stuck on the bottom, you can make your cut. And then, just roll it off, how beautiful is that? Don't worry what about what's in it, how does it look? Alright, so that's the technique for rolling the sausage roll. Okay, and there she is. Well, it's, it's, a, it's neither a nor a she, but there's the sausage roll. However, you do need to realise when we before we roll this, the positioning of the sausage made. Okay? It's at this end and not in the middle. Because it has to roll. We're not folding it like a, a, a pasty, it, it needs to roll. So it starts at this end, it gets shaped. Whilst you've still got the plastic on, take the time here to make sure it's even in size. Okay. Take the plastic back. Okay. Give it a brush. And shape it again. Got to make sure it's even. Why? Why does it need to be even? In size. Pardon? So it cooks evenly, basically. Okay. This sausage roll, yes I am. This sausage roll, I've glazed the 